So for today, we're going to be looking at the Ark inspired armor set. Uh, Eververse is finally selling the last piece, which is the helmet. If you guys don't have it, don't worry. You, it will be available for Eververse later. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help. We're going to be looking at how the armor looks, how it shaders, and my general thoughts on the armor itself, because I do have a lot to say about this armor because I am in the middle of like, I love it and I kind of hate it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below because I'm actually very interested to see what you guys think about the armor, but let's just get into it. So to start off this, these are the arc inspired sets. Each of them have different names, which is why instead of the names being up there, I decided to just put them underneath where they are. So for the dynamo current, it is for the hunter thunderous impact for the Titan and arc light for the warlocks. Uh, I think these sets look really, really cool. The really dope thing about this whole armor set for everyone is the fact that each armor piece really has like a lot of strength for other pieces you guys will see this when i make the individual armor pieces videos for the hunter titan and warlock because i do have them done already i just have to uh not only make the audio footage but i also have to like just ed edit it and render it and then i'll be done but all of the heavy lifting is essentially done i just have to edit it and the thing that i noticed the most was the fact that each of the armor pieces for the the classes are very strong with other armor pieces i think the titan has uh the more challenging pieces but overall i do think either everyone ate really well with this armor set so let's actually look from hunter titan and warlock i think the hunter is is really good the cloak is really good i think the helmet is super cool the chest piece is usable the arms is probably the weakest aspect of the whole set and the boots are really really strong i really like the boots a lot because you guys might not be able to see it with this but the boots actually have a skirt at the back and i think that looks really cool especially when you have a no cloak look because then that it looks almost like like a hunter or titan mark kind of so i think the hunter has probably some of the best pieces just because again aside from the arms every piece of this set looks really really good uh, titans i think you guys have the weakest portions just because the arms i think are terrible to be fair the the hunter's arms are pretty terrible as well but i feel like the hunter's set is more usable than the titans arms i just the arms are just terrible personally uh the chest piece is okay i definitely like the set that i made for the individual pieces video but it definitely left uh more to be desired i guess to be fair i'm much more of a fan of really bulky titan chest pieces just because i feel like in my mind that's a titan and when they give us like small chest pieces i just don't feel like that's a titan to me uh the helmet is also pretty cool i guess uh i say i guess because this is a problem that all of the helmets have is that the blue visor doesn't change color so you're just gonna be stuck with that I will say the helmet is really really cool it's just again be aware that you are locked into blue that being said each of the armor pieces has like electrical currents going around the arms and chest piece and everything that's also going to be locked into blue as the same thing for the the glow that's going to be locked in blue as well we usually go through shade through the shaders for glows and whatnot but i just wanted to make it clear because there is a lot of blue in this set specifically for the titans you have the chest piece the boots the arms the helmet like almost everything in this set is gonna have some sort of blue and as much as i like the boots i do think to be fair they're, they are the best piece from everything else but you are gonna have to fight the blue a lot because the cracks in the armor is gonna be blue I think the mark is also really, really cool. And I did actually make an, a video for the, or I made a set with the mark as well, because I think the mark is really good for the warlock. I hate the helmet. Let me just, let me just be straight up. I hate the helmet and I hate the bond. I don't like the bond. Uh, the fact that it's just like just a big rock kind of like irks me everything else though banger oh my God. So the chest piece is a banger. The arms actual banger boots surprisingly banger so a lot of the cool things about the warlock is the fact that the chest piece i really really like because i have it in a really cool set and it's a more it's a, it's like an either or type situation and you guys will see that in the individual videos i'll explain it a little bit more in that video but just to be uh 100 honest with you guys uh 
I like to switch in and out the the Fortnite armor for the Warlocks because the the Fortnite armor actually has a lot of electro electrical currents as well. Specifically, the arms for that set has like an extra electrical current going around it. So I combine the arms with this chest piece and it looks so fucking cool. Obviously combine it with a blue shader. So that way you guys can get that blue glow on the electricity and it looks super, super cool. Or you can do the inverse and switch out the arms for the chest piece and then use the arc light arms instead. And it looks even better in my opinion. So the chest and arms I think are bangers. The boots also really cool because you can use it in a militaristic look, which is what I did for uh, the example set and it looks really really cool like it, it it looks like something like a juggernaut would wear so i don't want to explain too much because i do want to at least have some of these as a surprise but just be aware that the hunter and the warlock sets are super fucking cool the titans is also really cool it's just the arms set piece i'm not a big fan i hate that i hate the arms and the helmet for almost everyone aside from the hunter i think looks super cool so overall, I think the armor is cool. Uh, definitely, definitely usable. Just a few things to note before I get into the shader se section. I am not the biggest fan of asymmetrical looks. If you guys have been following my content for a while, you guys will know that I, I hate asymmetrical looks. And this whole set, aside from the Warlock, is purely asymmetrical. Let's look at the Hunter. Hunter has the arms that are super asymmetrical. Ch the chest piece is super asymmetrical as well, specifically the abs. Uh, which is unfortunate because on the other side, there is that same pattern, but for the left side, it's just all completely there. And I kind of hate it, uh, for the boots you have that leather strap on the right leg. Other than that, it's pretty symmetrical. And honestly, I'm not going to be that bothered by it. Um, and that's really it. I mean, the cloak being asymmetrical is not really that big a deal considering I don't think that's a bad offender, but for the Titans, it's literally just going to be the arms but the arms are so bad that I just, I just, I hate them. I hate them so much. So there is a lot of asymmetry happening here, but I do think aside from the boots for the top, for the hunters, everything else is like whatever, because the boots, I think is completely fine. It's not going to bug me that much, but the chest piece for sure bugs me that leather strap on the ribs uh, or on the, on the abs really pisses me off just cause like we didn't need that and it would look cooler without it. Uh, the arms being asymmetrical, I can bitch about it, but like, what's the point? We always have asymmetrical arms and I'm not even like, honestly, I'm more of just mad at the fact that like the pauldron on that, on the right side is just stupid looking, I guess. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. As for how it shaders, Echo Anger looks really, really cool with it. Uh, not a lot of colors that I'm seeing that are kind of weird. Uh, the only thing that I can see is that the warlocks have a lot of white on that Echo Anger. Other than that, everything else, else looks pretty fine, considering that if I remember correctly, the white is the off color and we'll actually see it more when we look into Abyssinian in gold. But for right now, I think Equid Anger looks really cool with this set just because the blue is not that crazy. And the only negative thing I could say is if you did want to use like Echo Anger with this set and you didn't want to use like the whole set, then that's where uh, some problems may arise because we don't have a lot of armor that strictly stays blue uh, with glows and whatnot. You can circumvent this with certain uh, solstice armor sets. Those armor pieces will retain blue if you have an arc uh, subclass on. But if you don't have a lot of those pieces, then you're going to be pretty much in trouble because I, yeah, there's not a lot. I don't I can't think of any off the top of my head that retain blue, at least for a glow. So that one would be really difficult. As for Abyssinian Gold, I can clearly tell you right now that the Warlock has a lot of off color for that chest piece, which could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on which shader you're going for. But as you guys can see, the whole thing is just completely black, which you love to see. But then the chest piece has that brown color that I'm not a big fan of. Uh, overall, I really, really like the a lot of the colors that I'm looking at for Abyssinian Gold because Abyssinian Gold, I'm actually I, I know a lot about Abyssinian Gold to know where like what colors I should and shouldn't be noticing. Like for example, the Hunter's chest piece, specifically the abs, there's a one side that's like gray and then the other side where it's like completely black. Uh, that's actually pretty cool because the black is, if I remember correctly, it is the off color kind of, but 
also not really i don't know it's really hard to i know just saying that i know abyssinian gold but it's more of a like i know what colors to expect from abyssinian gold so a lot of the colors here i'm not really too worried about and quite honestly i'm actually really excited for these so i will definitely be combining some of the colors that i'm noticing right now i did have other shaders to show you but unfortunately i just cannot render them and i do have kind of a, a time crunch because i want to have these videos out before lightfall comes out because once lightfall comes out i'm ignoring everything else that does include the exotic videos i'm gonna put a pin on them until i catch up with everything so i'm not ignoring the exotic videos and you can still ask for them but kind of like the same thing i did with this season where i was doing everything first and then we got back into exotic videos so it don't it might be a month maybe a month and a half after the expansion comes out where i go back into the exotics but i just want to give you like a little quick head quick heads up so yeah let me know what you guys think did you did you like the armor set that your class got let me know in the comments below again i think the strongest sets are going to be the hunter first then the warlock and then the titan if i'm being quite honest i think the warlock wins it so warlock would be number one just because a lot of the pieces are super fucking good again arms are really good chest piece is super good boots is really good hell even the helmet although i'm not the biggest fan of it looks really cool in certain pieces like the example set i made with it i actually really really like and for the hunter i just think the boots is like the best piece from the whole set i think the cloak is super dope as well and i do like the set that i made with it and the helmet also is really cool it's just the fact that it's stuck on blue which to be fair that's not a really good argument considering all of the other subclass specific armor pieces lock their color so i get that but at the same time i also am not the biggest fan of how the arc armor came out like it doesn't scream arc to me like for example the void set screamed void the the solar set screamed solar to me so when i saw this i was kind of like kind of disappointed just because i i don't know i was expecting more subclass um inspiration in here i like i guess maybe the hunter could have had like a little staff on somewhere probably not their back because i would not have liked that but like somewhere along their self they could have had like a, a little staff a mini staff uh the titans could have had their their hands glowing um and the warlocks i guess you know what the warlocks could have had like a uh, arc buddy on as a bond and it just circles around it that would have been really cool i don't know just a little bit more arc inspired pieces would have been better because right now it just kind of looks like a rock that has electricity in there but i get it and i know like in my head i'm like i get the reference it's cool it's just it's not like the hunter solar where they have a literal golden gun on their hip which is super cool um or you know the titan shield the titan um the titan void shield in the back i think that's super cool so i don't know i was just expecting a little more i guess let me know what you guys think uh i appreciate you guys coming up to this point uh be safe and i'll see you guys later